Howdy chums, my name is Mohidan guys. In this uh, Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the timer class guys. First things first, let me create a new Action Script 3 file. Cool. Uh, next guys, I'm going to click on the text tool. I'm going to create a text field. Okay. Let me put it up in the center using the Alliance tool. Then I'm going to give it an instance name. Let me call it my text. Alright. Next guys, I'm going to embed the font, which is a very good habit. So I'm, I'm going to embed uppercase, lowercase, numerals and punctuation. Let me change font1 to Nayala. Now the font is actually embedded, right. Uh, let me also make sure that it's center aligned it is and it's not selectable, it is not, right. Okay, now that I'm actually done with the text field, guys, I'm act uh, I'm ready to go inside the actions panel and start coding. I'm going to create a variable var my timer of the type timer. Okay, uh, is equal to new timer. That is how you create a new instance of a timer, guys. And then you need to pass in two parameters, guys: the delay and the repeat count. Okay, uh, the delay. I'm going to keep it at 1000 that's equal to a second and I'm going to keep keep the repeat count at let's say 10 okay I'm going to create a, a timer that actually counts from 1 to 10 then I'm going to show you how to make it count from 10 to 1 and then I'm going to show you how to make it count from 10 to 1 in a different way okay so we have a complete understanding of the timer class or how to create a timer event right next guys I'm going to say my timer I'm going to add an event listener to the timer so I'm training the timer to listen to the time I'm gonna say timer event dot timer and then the name of the function that needs to be executed every time the timer actually fires uh, let me call it timer handler handler right then I need to define the function function timer handler okay I need to pass in the event inside the parent so it's a timer event timer event and then since this function does not calculate and return a value right so I need to put a colon void out there and then I need to define the function I need to say uh, my text that's a text field dot text property I'm gonna make it equal to counter now what is counter? I haven't defined the counter yet. I'm going to go to line number 3. I'm going to create one more variable. Variable counter of the type number. Now type is optional guys. Is equal to 1. Okay. I'm going to come down out here. I'm going to say is equal to counter plus an empty string. I'll tell you why. Counter is a number. I cannot put a number inside the text field unless and until I add a string to it. Once you add a number and a string together it actually becomes a string then you can put it inside a text field using the text property right and then I need to say counter plus plus now counter plus plus means that you're adding one to the counter every time the timer fires okay so the text field will first say one then two then three uh, as and when the timer fires okay now in a, uh, for me to be able to start the timer, I need to use the start method. Otherwise, the timer will not start. So I, I'm going to say my timer dot start. Parent, parent, semicolon. Let me hit control enter to test whether I made the timer event properly. So that's a one and a two and a three. I'll go on till it actually becomes ten. All right. Uh, see this is an optional parameter guys if I don't use this the timer will run forever let me also decrease uh, the uh, delay to 10 milliseconds that's a pretty short period guys let me hit control enter as you can see that the now the timer is actually going on endlessly it'll never stop guys because I've re removed the second parameter the repeat count right let me put it back the way it was uh, this was a 1000 comma and then we had 10 out here okay what if I actually want the counter to go from 10 to a 1 instead of going from 1 to a 10 it's very simple guys all you need to do is I need to say 11 minus counter uh, control enter to test you see 10 9 8 7 6 
five, four, three, two, one. So that's a countdown timer. And what if I need to you show you a different method of doing that? Let me remove line number three. Let me also remove line number 11. And uh, the different way that I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna say, let me remove counter first. I'm gonna say, my timer dot current count. Now current count is one. My timer dot current count is one the first time the timer fires. My timer dot current count is two the second time the timer fires, so on and so forth. Control enter to test. So that's a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thumbs up. All right. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.